Okay, so let us look at one another interesting problem which we can solve using algebra. So let us go through this problem statement. Now the problem statement here says Jack has a total of 590 pounds as currency note in the denominations of 20 pounds, 50 pounds and 10 pounds. So he has some number of 10 pounds, some number of 50 pounds and some number of 20 pounds and all the amount added together is 590 pounds. Now let us see what it says next. The ratio of the number of 50 pound notes and 20 pound notes is 3 to 5. Further, if he has a total of 25 notes, so we know that the sum of number of 20, 50 and 10 pound notes is 25, how many notes of each denomination does he have? It means we have to find out how many number of 10 pounds, 20 pounds and 50 pounds notes does he have? How many each of these numbers he have? Now earlier we have seen problems which involved two unknowns and we were given a relationship between the two unknowns but here we have three unknowns. We don't know how much number of 10, 20 and 50 pounds notes and we but we do have an information which gives us relationship between two unknowns that is we don't the number of 50 pound notes and number of 20 pound notes are in the ratio of 3 to 5 and we have solved a problem similar problem using ratios just in the video earlier so you can refer to the detailed explanation of how this works but what I'm going to do is just to use that concept we discussed there so we can safely assume here or, or say that the number of 50 pound notes let that be equal to 3x and the number of 20 pound notes dollar to, uh, uh, sorry the 20 pound notes let that be equal to 5x they are in the same ratio so we just need to find out an x so we know that total notes equals 25. Now, so we got information on 50 pound notes, we got information on 20 pound notes, but we know the total notes, but we do not know the number of 10 pound notes. We don't know that. So essentially what I'm trying to do is just to write down the bits and pieces of information that we have available and then we will solve using the information that we have here. So now let us look at. Okay, so we have the number of 50 pound notes, 20 pound notes and I know the total number. Well, in that case, what I can do is simply subtract the total number of 50 and 20 pound notes and that gives us the 10 pound notes. So that we can write as total number of notes is 25 minus 5x plus 3x. So this gives you the total number of 25, the total of the number of 50 and 20 pound notes. And therefore this will be equal to 25 minus 8x. So this is your number of 10 notes. Okay, now let us see how we can form the equation. Now this becomes a little bit simpler for us. And the way in which it becomes simpler is we are given that he has a total of 590. Okay, so we need to find out how much each of these is contributing to the 590. So let us say from 50 pounds, how much will he have? So we know that the amount he will have would be equal to 50 multiplied by we have assumed that it is 3x so that gives us 150x okay this is the amount of money that will be contributed by the number of 50 pound notes that he has now the other one is from 20 pound notes 
he has how many? 20 and we know that 5x is the number of 20 nodes. So 20 into 5x, so that gives us 100x. So this is the amount contribution from the 20 pound notes. And then we have the 10 pound notes. From 10 pound notes, the contribution would be 10 multiplied by, we found this out, 25 minus 8x, 25 minus 8x. And when we multiply both the terms here by 10, we get 250 minus 80x. Okay, so now what we have is 150x, 100x and 250x. So these three are is the amount of money contributed by 50, 20 and 10 pound notes. Now we are given that all this totaled up, that is 150x, 100x and 250 minus 80x. When we total these three amounts, we get 590. So let us formulate the equation on the next page. So we have 150x then we have 100x and we had 250 minus 80x 250 minus 80x and this all totals to 590 pounds that is what is given to us so when we simplify this further so we have 100x minus 80x so we can subtract this from here 100 minus 80 that is 20 and 150 plus 20x is 170x plus 250 equals 590 so this gives us our equation simplified which we can proceed to solve further now we transpose 250 from the left hand side to the right hand side and change its sign so we have 170x equals 590 minus 250 or that gives us 0 9 minus 5 is 4 and 5 minus 2 is 3 or we have 170x equals 340 now to isolate this x we divide both the sides the left hand side and the right hand side by 170 so we have 170x by 170 equals 340 by 170 so this gets cancelled and when I when we simplify this so 170 times 2 is equal to 340 so we have x equals 2 now we got the value of x and we are going to use this to find out the number of nodes now the number of 50 nodes is 3x just I would like to use so okay so yeah let's do that so the 50 pound notes we said that it is equal to 3 times x or 3 times 2 that gives us 6 then we said that the 20 notes 20 pound notes were equal to 5 times x or 5 times 2 that is equal to 10 and we also found out that the 10 pound notes was equal to 250 minus 80x or we could also have written it in our original form that is 10 into 25 minus 8x because that is simpler to calculate so we can say that 10 into 25 minus 16 or that gives us that gives us oh wait a minute it was uh, there is a mistake over here I think we are not supposed to do that let me go back a bit it is not 250 minus 80x it is actually just 25 minus 8x that is what we are supposed to do yes sorry about that going a bit faster so it is actually the number of nodes we had was 25 minus 8x the the 10 was the contribution from that so it is 25 minus 8x and therefore we have this as 25 minus 
8 times 2 that is 16 or 25 minus 16 and this gives us 9 okay so we, we got this now we need to add all all these the amount contributed by 10 20 and 50 and see if that adds to 590 so the amount contributed by 50 is 50 times 6 added to 20 times 10 added to 10 times 9 and 5 times 6 is 300 200 and 10 times 9 is 90 and as you can see this is equal to 590 pounds so our solution is correct so an interesting problem which involved three unknowns but we use the information just to use a single variable and solve this problem further so that was an interesting word problem based on algebraic concepts in the next set of videos we will look at some more ways of applying algebraic equations